I got some uh, cool test equipment in today. This is a Dayton Audio DATS audio test system. This used to be called the Woofer Tester 3. Basically what it is is a USB device that hooks up to a speaker, a coil, a capacitor, a resistor, things like that for measuring purposes. The, the coolest thing about it is that it can measure the feel small parameters of a mystery speaker. So you can decide you know, design a box for it and have it actually match. So I'm going to take a look at this and see if it's actually accurate. It looks like a pretty cool, uh, cool idea. So far it's working just like it should. I've been following the setup instructions and got everything calibrated. First you got to short the leads together and, and run uh, test lead calibration. And then, after that's done, you hook up this resistor they give you. It's a 1K resistor with 1% tolerance. Hook that up and run the impedance calibration, and after it's done, then you can do a resi resistance test, and it, it's right at 1,000.6 ohms. So, now for the fun stuff. Let me grab a mystery speaker and see if I can measure the parameters. Alright, I, I decided to get one of the reconed RCF drivers from one of my EAW subwoofers. And uh, I'm going to give it a measurement and see what it says. I've already put in the what's called the piston diameter, basically the nominal diameter of the cone itself of 16.3 inches. Added mass method 150 grams, that's to check one of the, uh, the displacement measurement. But I'm going to do the free air parameters first. Did the frequency sweep there? Let's see. All right, now I've got this roll of duct tape here. I've weighed it on the scale, and it was 150 grams exactly. Balance that on the center of the cone and the dust cap there. And that gives it some feedback for calculating what's called the VAS measurement. Let's see, you can see it's blank, it says zero right now. Measure VAS, it's saying add the weight and click OK. 20 cubic feet. One thing I found is that it makes a difference even like where the driver is sitting on the workbench because it actually re reflects off the surface and it will change some of the measurements a little bit uh, depending on how the thing is sitting. I think you're supposed to have them facing forward like clamped in a in a vise or something uh, to be totally in free air but this way is good enough for demonstration purposes. Pretty neat though. Uh, I'll be able to use this to build speaker boxes and test mystery drivers that I don't know anything about things like that so I'm looking forward to making some use of it <laughs> 